So before we go into Adobe After Effects, one of the things that we often do is create our assets in other software. So for example, we might create drawings in Adobe Photoshop, we might create vector objects in Adobe Illustrator, or we might just go and take footage that we've recorded on our phones and actually import that into our projects. But one of the things that can be quite tricky is actually making sure all of that content is in the correct position and aligned according to how we wanted it to look. So one of the tools that we can use to make that much easier is guides and rulers. And in this video, we're gonna cover exactly how you can implement them in Adobe After Effects. Cool, so we're in Adobe After Effects, and as you can see, I've got quite a boring composition at the moment, but hopefully they'll be great to show how we can easily rearrange things using guides in After Effects. So for example, let's say we want to align all three of our shapes right here, or any layer that we have in Adobe After Effects, and make sure that the bottom of all of our shapes are in one straight line. Well, what we need to do first is actually implement rulers so that we can actually start to add guides. So there's a few ways you can actually add rulers in After Effects. The easiest way is just to press Command and R or Control and R for Windows. You can also go down to this icon right here and then select rulers and make sure there's a tape next to that. Or you can go to view and then go to show rulers. And as you can see, that's the shortcut that we used earlier. So with that option ticked, we now have rulers at the top and the side of our composition. In order to actually create a guide, what we need to do is just hover our mouse over the ruler so that we have an arrow pointing upwards and downwards. And then we just hold our left mouse button and hold and drag and create a guide. And then release our mouse in order to drop that guide anywhere on our composition. And with that guide now enabled, theoretically what we could do is actually hold and drag on our shape and move it to our guide. But as you can see, it's not automatically snapping to that guide. Ideally, we'd have the bottom of our shape automatically hit the bottom of our guide and stop right there. But what we need to do is go to view and then go to the option that says snap to guides. And now with our option ticked, when I move my shape and move it close to the guide, as you can see, it's automatically gonna snap to that guide, which is ideal. So if I move all of these shapes to that bottom edge, as you can see, they're all gonna snap to that guide. And now the bottom of each shape is automatically aligned to our guide. And this works exactly the same for the vertical, so I can hold and drag out a new guide and then move the shape into that corner right there. Or I can move the shape to the left and that one to the top. As you can see, if I actually move the shape, it's also automatically gonna snap to the center of our shape and that's the same here too. And it's also gonna do that on the other axis, top and right too. So that's just one quick and ideal way that you can ensure that everything is aligned in your designs. Now, a few other quick things that are handy to know about guides in After Effects. If you go to view, there are a few other options that we have. So you have the option that is clear guides. And obviously, like it suggests, if you press clear guides, all of your guides are automatically going to disappear. So if I quickly add one or two extra ones back in. So that's a nice quick way to actually get rid of everything and ensure that you have a clean slate to work from. If you go to view and lock guides, as you can see, I can no longer actually control the guides. So that's ideal if you want to make sure that you don't accidentally move those guides when you're designing, because it's quite easy to do. And then lastly, what you can also do is actually import and export guides from your project. So if you have another project where you want to use the exact same guides, all you have to do is go to view and go to import or export guides. So you have to export them first and then import them in your other project. So those are just a few and quick, easy ways to use guides in Adobe After Effects. If you want to be able to quickly hide your guides, all you have to do is go to this option right here, just like we had earlier. And just make sure there's no tick next to guides. That's the same for ruler. You can either press Command and R or Control and R to get rid of them, or you can just press on this option here and it's actually going to get rid of them too. As you can see, you've also got the option to add a grid here. So this is quite a dense grid, but you can also actually use the proportional grid, which doesn't have as many options. So I'd have to turn off the grid right here. And as you can see, we've only got those options. So those you can also use if you'd rather use that than guides. Great, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're slightly confused as to how you can create shapes in Adobe After Effects, then you might find the video on the right of the end screen quite useful. And otherwise, do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content. And do remember to subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a new After Effects tutorial.